we rejoice and give thanks that you did not despair of us that you emptied yourself of glory in Jesus Christ and in him you entered our broken world lived suffered and died amongst us that in him we might know forgiveness and reconciliation with you wholeness and freedom we thank you that these are the things that we remember and his is the presence that we know as we sit around this table with its broken bread making us whole it's poured out wine, nourishing us in spirit. Therefore we ask, O oh God, that you will send down your Holy Spirit upon these gifts which we offer and the lives which we bring, that we may be nourished, strengthened, and brought back together the more firmly bound within the community of your people, living each for the other and all for Christ our Lord through whom we ask it, taking upon our lips the words of the prayer which he has taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. On the night of his arrest, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ took the bread, and after giving thanks and blessing it, he broke it and said, This is my body, broken for you. Take and eat. And in the same way, our Lord took the cup, and he said, this cup is the new covenant sealed in my blood for the forgiveness of sins. Drink ye all of it. For as often as you eat of this bread and you drink of this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes again. These are the gifts of God for you, the people of God. And you're invited to come to the table. This evening we're going to meet you down at the bottom of the stairs and you're invited to come forward using the center aisle and take a piece of bread and dip it into the cup and receive the body and the blood of Christ through our sacrament.
the body of Christ broken for you. The grace of Christ bless and keep you. Let us pray. Blessed Lord Jesus, we thank you for this meal, for your love for us, for the gift of grace which we receive from you. We pray that as we receive this gift that we might receive the ability to see you as the risen Christ in our lives. Bless us. Take us from this place. Allow us to be faithful and allow us to share that good news that comes from you. In the name of your Son, we pray. Amen. Amen. I'd like to invite you to stand as we sing uh, the hymn, Bread of the World in Mercy Broken. I'm going to offer the benediction to you. The men's choir is going to come forward and sing. And then uh, Kathy is going to play the postlude. And as she does that, if you would like to stay and ask any questions um, of uh, Reverend Orr, uh, you have the opportunity to do that. If you want to just meet him, uh, stick around and do that. We do recognize it's 8 o'clock and a little bit after, and some of you need to run, and we want to, rec and we want to honor that and honor the commitments you have. So, friends, we thank you. And th Reverend Orr, thank you for being with us. It's been just a delight to have you in our community and to be a part of Westminster College. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and give you his peace, both now and forevermore. Amen.